can coyotes regulate deer populations? Every ecosystem is different, but we think that like here in the Northeast, a normal forest can sustain maybe like 14 to 18 deer per square mile. And in many areas of the country, we see deer populations that may be in excess of 100 deer per square mile or even more. Here in Vermont, we actually didn't probably have a lot of white-tailed deer prior to colonization. And we didn't have coyotes either. The first coyotes were seen in Vermont in the 1940s. There's a bunch of different really complex reasons for why deer have become so overpopulated. But one of them is the extirpation of their apex predators, wolves and cougars, from much of their range. And I'm thinking about this right now because the snow depth in Vermont is like extreme. And I'm looking at the tracks of a coyote just padding along on the surface of the snow. We know that coyotes don't eat a lot of deer, but they will totally do it opportunistically. And one of the times when they can do it is in times like this, in periods of deep snow. So the coyotes will be padding on the surface of the snow and the deer will be post holing into the snow with their hooves. And this is a time when a coyote could take not just a fawn, not just an older deer, but potentially even a healthy adult deer. So all this being said, the research is very clear that coyotes can't really fulfill the role of those apex predators. And there's some interesting discussions about predator reintroduction, which is much more logistically complicated than I think most people would like you to believe it is. But the fact is, we're not getting out of this mess that we're in with white-tailed deer without killing them. And the fact is that right now, the apex predator of this animal is humans. With all these things, we need to recognize that the goal is not to interject ourselves into these ecosystems wantonly or carelessly. The goal is not to kill stuff. The goal is to protect these ecosystems and all the species that rely on them, ourselves included. The goal is to help correct some of these issues that have been caused by people so that these ecosystems can be happy and healthy and vibrant and abundant in the future.